What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we got a story time of a skibbity toilet kid who ends up fighting his dad over the most nonsense thing you've ever heard. Like I know I've told a lot of stories where you'll probably cringe at how like ridiculous they are, but this one, this one is definitely up there. So with that being said, leave a like on the video right now to claim your free nothing. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and like stories. And with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Anyways, right, so we're going to call the subscriber who submitted this story Carson. Anyways, so Carson had this friend who we're going to call Ben. And by the way, to all the people new to the channel, just so you know, uh, it's not the same Ben in every single story. It's just really my placeholder name I use for the second character a lot of the times. Anyways, though, so Carson had this friend named Ben. And we've heard this story happen again and again when basically Ben is a totally normal kid before they go off for the summer. And then when they come back this year, it's completely like Ben is completely changed. He's completely crazy. And uh, what exactly happened? Well, as a lot of other kids have, you know, a lot of other kids have caught this disease over the summer. And it's the uh, the skibbity toilet virus. It's probably the most dangerous disease on planet Earth. It has a 100% mortality rate, not because they die, but because anyone around them will 100% die from the cringe. You know what I mean? Anyways, though, so yeah, sure enough. Uh, I don't know if you guys know any any kids who've uh, come down with the skibbity toilet disease. Make sure to leave a comment down below saying if they have and tell, just tell me your little story in there as well so you guys can read the comments while listening as well. Also, I just want to really quickly say uh, if you enjoy, you know, the Skibbity Toilet videos or whatever, I, I don't really care. That's, I'm not, I'm not talking about you. You're allowed to like what you like. That's totally fine. But if you've seen a few of my videos of Skibbity Toilet kids in like quotation marks, you already know what it means to be one. Yeah, taking it to the nth degree of insanity. So please don't become one of those kids. Anyways, though, so Ben was a totally normal kid. As these stories go, Carson's telling me that, like, yeah, these kids are totally normal. And by the way, if you want to submit stories to me or if you want to get your story submitted, go to Instagram, look up Connor Pugs, uh, drop me a follow, and then message me your story. Yeah, so Carson was telling me that Ben was actually quite a normal kid before this. Like, Ben was very much, like, he was chill, he liked to go outdoors, Everything was kind of good, man. Like, life was pretty good. Nothing too strange. Nothing nothing that would honestly, like, he was just a normal kid. It, didn't, it wasn't like, oh, he was a little strange before, so it totally makes sense that he became obsessed with this thing and went off the rails. Like, dude was just, like, one of the boys. Anyways, though, so over the summer, I guess he just didn't have a lot planned. He didn't get a lot. I, I don't know. Some, like, definitely a lot of kids will have more chill summers, which is totally fine. Like, I think there's nothing, like, there's nothing that beats a day, a summertime day, where you're kind of like, you know, I don't know, you're on playing, like, Minecraft or Xbox or whatever with the boys. Maybe you have, like, a nice lunch at home and spend a little time outside. Like, a chill summer, those definitely go super hard. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, but um, unfortunately, uh, Ben had a chill summer in the sense that he didn't have anything planned, meaning that the skibbity virus, the skibbity toilet virus, was primed to strike. It was the perfect climate. It was the perfect conditions for the skibbity toilet to wreck. It's like, it, bro, like, it, it, it's, it's bad. It was bad news because Ben literally, okay, Carson doesn't know this, but he assumes that Ben spent five hours a day, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day, 25 hours out of the 24 hours a day just watching Skibbity Toilet episodes, watching Skibbity Toilet lore videos, watching everything that has to do with these freaking toilets, dude. I swear it's everywhere. It's like literally everywhere on YouTube. And obviously Carson doesn't know this. It's not like Carson has some kind of security camera inside Ben's house all over the summer. But by the way that Ben was acting as soon as he got back to school, it almost felt like that. So uh, so from day one of school, like Carson wasn't didn't really see Ben over the summer at all. I think he saw him in the beginning for a second and then Carson went on a vacation, went on a trip after that fact. But when he came back, really the first time he saw him since summer was in school. And, like, you know, Carson goes up to Ben. He's like, oh, what's up, dude? Like, how's it going? And Ben is just like, oh, good. Skippy bup bup, skip, skip. He's just, like, spamming out weird keywords of, like, skibbity toilet. All this. He's just, like, mumbling stuff to himself. And, and Carson's like, what? Yeah, so anyways, Carson's pretty confused by all this. But anyways, he's just like, okay, man. Like, uh, he just tries to, like, 
he kind of brushes it off in the beginning, but just the more time he spends with them. First of all, Ben never, first of all, Ben never brought an iPad to school. He never brought a phone to school, didn't bring a laptop, didn't bring his Samsung smart fridge. He didn't do, he didn't bring any kind of electronic to, to school. However, ever since this Skibby Toilet virus got him over the summer, he brings in his iPad. Instead of chilling with the boys at recess or hanging out with them at lunch or in between periods, even in between class periods, he just goes on his iPad to get another hit of the Scooby Toilet videos. Dude is actually acting like this is some kind of like crazy drug or something, bro. Like, I mean, low key it is by the way the kids are consuming Skibbity Toilet videos. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, this kid would literally watch some kind of like Skibbity Toilet episode every single day of every single minute. So at one point, Carson and his friends actually kind of have a little bit of a group meeting, like, to talk about it, um, just because the behavior is so bad. Dude, if your friends are having a group meeting about your behavior, then, man, you, probably you're doing something wrong. I mean, maybe they're all delusional and you're not, but I'm not going to lie, man. If you think that everyone around you is delusional and you're somehow, like, in the right on everything, maybe you're right, but let's be honest, man, you're probably not correct here. Anyways, though, so Carson and his friends kind of have a meeting, and they're just like, dude, have you noticed, like, it actually was Carson who's the one who's like, yo, can we talk about Ben? But it seems like everyone immediately knew what he was talking about. It's not like Carson had to, like, explain to them exactly what they, like, why they were having that meeting. It was abundantly clear to everyone exactly why they were having that meeting, man. Like, no one needed an explanation for why the meeting was taking place. That's honestly how bad it was. Like, every single person immediately knew what they were talking about. They already knew the conversation before it came up. So everyone kind of just spoke about their own experiences about how bad it was and how, like, it basically Ben had completely changed into a different person. He wasn't hanging out with them. Well, I mean, he was, but when he was, he was on his iPad or whatever. Or whenever they tried to have a conversation, like Ben would immediately try and turn it into skibbity toilet lore, which everyone's like, dude, what? <laughs> like, dude, what? That, that makes no sense at all. Like, yeah, I get it. If there's something you're really passionate about, a lot of times you'll want to like talk to your friends about it. But at a certain point, I feel like you got to realize that um, explaining to your friends skibbity toilet lore, let me just repeat that, skibbity toilet lore to them when they don't care every single day, every single hour. I don't know, man. I feel like at some point you'd realize that uh, perhaps that's not the way to go about it. So anyways, uh, Carson's like, look, boys, it's been a second since we've had a group sleepover. Um, let's ask Ben if he wants to have a sleepover. So anyways, later that day, Carson goes up. He's like, yo, Ben, like, what's up? And Ben's like, what's up, dude? He's like, hey, man, like, it's been a second since the boys and I have had, like, a sleepover. Like, do you want to run something back? And, you know, Ben's like, yeah, actually, do you guys want to come over this Friday? And Carson's like, yeah, sure. Like, I'll check on the boys. I, we we're talking about this earlier. I think we can all go, though. But, yeah, let's, let's coordinate something. So, yeah, anyways, all the parents got in contact again, and, you know, sure enough, it was everyone got the A-OK -okay to come over on Friday night to Ben's house. So let's skip forward in the week to that Friday. So this is a couple weeks into school, and so we're skipping forward into to that Friday, yes. So sure enough, I, you know, Carson's kind of explained what's been going on to his mom, but as, like, to, to me, the whole concept of this, like, these Skippy Toilet Kids is kind of foreign to me, and, man, I've been on the internet for a second imagine, <laughs> imagine trying to explain to your parents that your friend is not that close to you because he's obsessed with skibbity toilet lore. Like, imagine, like, I think if I was a parent, I'd be like, oh man, it looks like my time has come. I've definitely just had a brain aneurysm because that was not English. And if that, like, if that was English, man, then, you know, I got to take a few English classes because I, <laughs> I, I got to catch up. I've been slipping behind. Like, I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to like sit in on my kids' English classes, take some notes, right? Maybe do their homework for them so that I can learn whatever, whatever's going on. Because all I know is whatever he just said made absolutely no sense to him. So I feel bad for, like, uh, you know, Carson's mom. But Carson's mom's like, hey, sweetie, like, kids like your age, like, they just go through phases. And this just sounds like a phase to me, you know? This kind of sounds like something like your friend's excited about it and he's just getting really obsessed and i bet he'll be back to normal in no time like when i was a kid i had like a, a whatever phase she inserted something that was popular in the 80s or whatever or 90s whatever right and he's like and she's like oh it's a phase it'll go through it and then you guys will be friends again 
just try and keep the connection now. I know it might be hard, but really just do your best, like, because he'll be normal again soon. So anyways, Carson's eventually dropped off at Ben's house, and, you know, he gets out of the car, and he goes into the house, and everything seems pretty normal. Actually, at first, everything is really normal. Like, it almost feels like old Ben is back again. And uh, so, because they're all kind of like hanging out in the backyard, uh, Ben had a pretty cool back, a pretty co- a pretty cool, sorry, a pretty cool backyard. He had like a swing set, he had a slide, there was like a lot of bushes, it kind of opened up, it wasn't a closed backyard, it was like attached, because he was on the edge of a forest, so it kind of opened up into a big forest, woods area, whatever, like it was a sweet backyard. And they'd always start all their sleepovers, kind of like hanging out in the backyard. It was kind of cool, because it was like, they would always start it the same way, but the adventures would always be different every single night, but no matter what, they'd always start it in the same way. Yeah, so anyways, it still started off as a pretty good night. You know, it started off as a pretty good time to the sleepover. And honestly, at this point, Carson and his friends thought that it would just continue on like a normal sleepover would. Little did they know that that was honestly not going to be the case. I mean, I think part of them kind of had a sneaking suspicion that this was too good to be true. Especially since Ben had come, had been infected by the Skibbity Toilet virus by this time. But anyways, so they go back inside, and normally when they would go back inside, they would either all hop on a game or plan to go do something before dinner, um, and then normally post-dinner, they'd have a movie or something. And so they went down to uh, Ben's, uh, Ben had like a basement that kind of was turned out to like a hangout room, which was pretty cool, man. I mean, like they would go down there, there was like uh, like a Wii, there was like a couch, there was a little snack drawer, like it was pretty sweet. So they go down there, and Ben is like, boys, I have something, like, queued up. And uh, they're like, oh, okay, like, what is it? (laughs) And he turns on the TV. um, And the TV has YouTube on it. And they see that it's already saved slash open to a screen. And on this screen is a playlist that has 2,000 videos in it. 2,000 videos. A playlist with 2,000 videos. It's like 26 hours long. And it's called Skibbity Marathon. It basically has every Skibbity Toilet video that has ever existed. I'm not talking about like the episodes of the official series from this, the Boom channel or whatever. I'm talking about those plus every other video. Skibbity Toilet in real life. Lore analysis videos. Uh, it, everything. Everything, man. I mean, I don't know how you get to 2,000 videos. Like, I barely have 2,000 videos on my channel. I crank these things out every single freaking day, dude. 2,000 videos. And he, here's the thing, too. He didn't even know that they were having a sleepover till a couple days before. So this isn't like... I mean, maybe this is his own personal playlist. But when they sat down, like, at this point, Carson and his friends, like, their mouths just dropped. They're just like, no. No, 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 no. And Ben's like, all right, boys, like, I thought, like, I thought we'd indulge in a little, uh, a little bit of this. And he starts the playlist. And everyone is just looking at each other. They're all, they're all giving each other, like, the hardest side eye you've ever heard. They're all just kind of, like, looking at each other, looking back and forth, like, ain't no way, bro, serious right now. There's a 0% chance dude actually thinks we're going to do this. But he did. Ben was certain that this is what they were going to do. Ben was certain that this is the definition of of a good time for everyone. Spoiler, it's not. No one was having a good time. No one enjoyed this. No one liked this. Uh, Anyways, though, so uh, about an hour and a half in, everyone's on their phone, by the way. No one, here's the thing, man. If you're ever playing videos for the boys or you're choosing something and you can kind of tell that maybe they haven't been like, yo, turn that off, but after a second, not a single one is paying attention. Like they're all on their phones right now maybe, maybe, especially if you're the one who chose it, maybe it's time to choose something else. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But maybe it's time for you to go and to change it up a little bit. But I think Ben was just so sucked in by the skibbity toilet, whatever, that he just couldn't comprehend, man. He just couldn't comprehend them not being in love with skibbity toilet, man. I, he, he, he just couldn't see it on the event horizon. Man. He just couldn't see it. Anyways, though, so about an hour and a half in, you hear a call from upstairs of Ben's dad being like, Ben, it's time for dinner. And uh, Ben's like, one second. He's like, guys, uh, what are your thoughts on just like watching more of this? 
And the boys are like, ah, I don't know, man. We're, we're kind of hungry or whatever. And he's like, yo, one more, one more, one more. And he cues up a video. It's like a 27 minute long lore video. And everyone's like, dude, <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, no. Uh, yes. Anyways, they're about a couple minutes in and uh ben's dad is like kind of like comes down the stairs he's like hey boys like it's, it's time for dinner do you want to get cold right like ben's mom worked hard on this so at this point like carson's like oh that's enough for me and he gets up and a lot of the other guys get up and stand up and they're starting to walk up the stairs ben though is not moving and ben's dad's like yo ben like come on come on man like let's go ben's like i'm almost done with my video and ben's dad looks at it, he's like dude, you're four minutes into a 27 minute long video. Like, can you just pause it? Like you can start it when you come back downstairs. He's like, dad, no, this is important. His dad's like, no, like son, you need to come up right now. I don't know if you've ever been at a sleepover or some like at a friend's house when like they get in an argument with their parents, but bro, it's always so uncomfortable. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm always just so uncomfortable by those things, man. It just kind of makes me feel like, eh. I don't know, but I, I, I hope I encapsulated that feeling well, but it's the feeling of, uh. Yeah, but one thing led to another, and it for some reason started to get heated. I mean, don't ask me how they be they got in a heated conversation over Ben watching or not watching a twenty seven minute long Skibbity Toilet Lore video, dude. I I I don't I don't know. I really don't know. But it starts to get really heated, and Ben like escalates things. Like I don't know if the Skibbity Toilet virus gave Ben like bad anger issues or something maybe just all like the brain rot he's been consuming has like messed with the wires in his brain man but he just starts he stands up he's just like yelling at his dad he's like screaming at his dad let me watch give it time like i don't know dude actually feels like dude actually seems like the guy who gets possessed in those devil movies bro like i don't know what to say man so yeah sure enough uh you know ben's dad is not happy about this He's just like, you're going up right now and joining your friends because you're a mother. And at this point, Ben, like, takes the TV remote in his hand and, like, socks his dad in the face and runs upstairs screaming, you're not my real dad. Skibbity is. And he, like, runs up to his room and slams the door. That, that wasn't, like, an audio glitch. I just went silent to give you guys a second. A second to internalize that statement he threw hands at his dad because his dad wouldn't let him watch or did not even not let him watch just asked him to take a break from his lore video he gets so mad he socks him in the face and then runs up screaming skibbity is my real dad so at this point everyone like at this point carson's just like oh oh and everyone's just frozen on the stairs no one wants to move the only time they moved was to get out of the way as, you know, Ben was running up in tears up to his room or whatever. So they're all kind of standing there super awkwardly. Real quick, if you made it this far into the video, comment skibbity down below in the comment section. That'll be the secret word of the day. Obviously, leave a like on the video if you haven't already and turn on notifications. And if you're listening on Spotify, make sure you follow the podcast and that you rate it at five stars. Yeah. So anyways, uh, they're all just super super awkwardly standing there like this is the most uncomfortable moment that a lot of them have been in in a really really long time like they can't remember when things have been this weird for a while yeah so they're all just like in shock standing there it's just bad news man like it's just really uncomfortable so anyways they walk upstairs and like so ben's dad is like talking to ben's mom and ben's mom's like oh my god i can't believe you did that blah blah all that kind of stuff and so Ben's parents kind of like eventually after talking to each other, they kind of everyone's kind of standing awkwardly in the living room at this point. Um, so Ben's mom's like, hey, guys, like there's food on the table. Um, is there any and she basically tells them it's very awkward, but she basically tells them that Ben isn't going to be allowed to bet. They need to have a pretty stern talk with Ben that obviously he's been going through some stuff in quotes like the skippy toilet virus. Obviously, she didn't say that, but. Um, and that his obsession needs to be dealt with and that it probably wouldn't be best that they still had a sleepover tonight. So some of them live in the neighborhood uh, so they could walk back. Some of them could be picked up by their parents and those whose parents like already made plans. Like there were some like impromptu sleepovers. Like I think Carson brought one of his friends home and they had a little like an impromptu sleepover because Carson's friends like mom was out of town or planned around the sleepover to do something. So yeah, they went back home and, uh, let me just say that the next day uh, Ben came into school, he was just dead silent. 
nothing, didn't bring his iPad, probably got his iPad taken away from him, like, let's be real. And uh, that's the end of the story. That's all I got from Carson.